hello everyone welcome back and thank you for watching today I will be making some large candy cane theme Christmas home decor so I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you do please give this a thumbs up and now let's craft for my first project I picked up three of these large wood ornaments at the Dollar Tree I'm going to paint all of these using some white chalk paint Alright, so for this next step, there's different ways that you can do this. You can honestly just use the Dollar Tree vinyl and cut out some like some of these shapes, like make the shapes and cut them out and just apply them to the ornament. Or what I did is I drew the lines using another ornament as a stencil and then I went ahead and painted one red like one red one white one red one white well I didn't have to paint the white because it was already white I did smaller lines to one ornament and to the other one I made them bigger and to the third one I left the white so what I ended up doing is using a Dollar Tree vinyl I did cut it like the shape of it and use it like a painter's tape but honestly you don't even have to draw the lines you just do this and paint it so it's gonna be like a stencil almost like a stencil so now I'm going to use this craft booking paper so now I'm going to use this craft booking paper that I got from Hobby Lobby and use it as a, the little ornament topper and this is how they look so now you can either just leave it like that or go an extra step Further and decorate this some more like I did now for this I did use my Cricut and I cut out the word Merry Christmas but honestly you can use a Dollar Tree sticker letters or use stencils to add any words to the middle ornament I had some of these berry picks which I tied together so before I add this to the ornament I am going to stack my ornaments together so this is going to be like the present that I recently made which they're like stackable but this time I made ornaments So for this one, instead of gluing the top ornament like on top of the white one, I did it underneath so like that I'm able to add the little berry pick with this bow that I will be making using this Dollar Tree ribbon. The last thing I did is I added a little hanger on the back. Now you can add a stand at the bottom and use this as a stand but I decided to use this hanging. But that is it. Look how beautiful this turned out. For my next project, I will be reusing this Dollar Tree sign, which this is a Halloween decor little sign is one of them rectangle ones so I did remove the image and then painted the back white as you can see I didn't paint the size perfect because I was planning on adding this scrap of pink paper that looks like a candy cane now I got this from Hobby Lobby I am going to cut two little rectangles or squares I don't know they look more like rectangles and then just glue them on the sides. And now you have this blank canvas in the center that you can add whatever you like to this. I did use my Cricut to cut out candy cane lane and this little candy canes 
Now, Dollar Tree does scary poster sticker letters that you can use, or you can use stencils for this. I then felt like it needed some more, so I decided to make these little peppermint candy using these Dollar Tree lemon DIY cutouts. I also painted three of the Dollar Tree wood snowflakes red and added them to the sign. Now to finish this off, I made this bow using this Walmart ribbon, which I added in the center of the candy canes. Using the same ribbon, I will be making the hanger, but that is it. Look how beautiful and cute this candy cane lane sign turned out. My next project is one of my favorite projects I have ever made. I used two of these Dollar Tree wood arrows. Um, I didn't use these dowels or this piece of wood that I'm showing you here, but I'm just showing you, showing you because these are options that you can use. Now I ended up using the like square wood dowels. These are also from Dollar Tree and I used this Dollar Tree wood shelf. So the first thing I will be doing is gluing these together using wood glue. Then I'm going to set that to the side and let it dry. So while this is drying, I'm going to work on the other pieces that are going to go here. All right, so I'm going to start with the wall shelf. Now you can leave it like that, but I decided to make this a different shape. So I do end up cutting the corners. Plus, this is also going to cut off the little holes that it has on the corners. I did use my jigsaw for that. Now, honestly, you can use this arrow as is, but I decided to just cut off the little ends and make it straight. So now that everything's cut and this is dry, I'm going to paint everything white except the smaller arrow that is going to be painted red. Once everything's dry, I'm going to start adding the words to my little signs. Now once again, I did use my Cricut, but Dolly Tree carries poster sticker letters or you can use stencils to put your words. I will be adding North to this sign then I'm going to add a village to this and to the other one I added Santa's workshop one thing I forgot that I wanted to do was wrap the pole with some red ribbon now because I forgot to do that I do end up gluing the first sign down then I remember so the the glue wasn't dry so I do end up removing it quickly I then wrap the pole with this ribbon now this is the only red ribbon that I had that's why it's like really thin I do wish though I had a thicker ribbon to add it around once I was finished wrapping this I started adding the signs After adding the last piece, I remember that I wanted to add this wood circle that I got from Dollar Tree, which I painted red at the top. Now, honestly, I could have just added it, but I decided to remove the sign so I can add the little red circle first and then add the sign on top of it. Now, I did do it this way because I wanted to cover that little hole that the circle had. Plus this made the circle more sturdy. So 
I apologize for not mentioning at the beginning that you were going to also need the wood circle and this Dollar Tree bamboo cutting board. Now you can substitute these for other things that Dollar Tree has in case you don't find these. I am going to paint the cutting board with some red paint. To finish this off, I will be adding the post to the stand. I did use hot glue, but if you want to use this outdoor, I do recommend you using E6000 or wood glue so it can last longer. And that is it. Look how beautiful this post stand turned out. And that is it i really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video let me know in the comment section which one was your favorite because i would love to know so thank you so much for watching and until next time bye